Hello and welcome guys and girls, this is the Fresh Prince with another StarCraft 2 Harvest Swarm replay cast and I haven't done one of these in a long time. Neither have I done a StarCraft 2 Harvest Swarm live uh, game uh, video, so let's see what we've got here. So I'm actually playing as Protoss this time around and my opponent is Leo Terran. So let's see how this goes for me. And I'm pretty much, I don't really know any builds. Well, I know part of them, I guess, but I keep forgetting how to do the builds as Protoss. Well, I guess it's the same with Terran and Zerg. I don't really know them exactly. But as you can see here, getting my gateway and Cybercore up so I can get Stalkers, because Stalkers are good against Reapers, and I can put on some pressure with them. But the thing is, he's got these Reapers here, and he's actually microing that Reaper pretty damn well here as you can see he's taking out that zealot doing lots of HP damage to it so now I'm actually forced to pull some probes and he almost got that probe he could have focused it down but he didn't okay so now I have the mothership core out should be a little bit safer but he was a little bit annoying here and of course my stalker I didn't build the pylon so that was uh, quickly enough so that was really really bad for me as for my opponent, yeah, he's gonna do... Yeah, he's actually got two Reapers here, so he can do a lot of annoying damage to me. Zalot is still alive here, and the Reapers are going down. Oh, 4 HP, almost dead Reaper there, but not quite. Here you can see that I'm not actually sure what to build. I should have built an Assimilator far uh, earlier than this, but I suppose I forgot. That was pretty bad for me now, because my tech is pretty damn far behind compared to his. He's he's actually not getting a factory right now, he's just getting the extra racks, which is not really a problem. Should be getting a factory any time now, though. As you can see here, uh, no way he can do anything with those Reapers now. I've got the this Zealot and Stalker positioned here. And two gateways. I'm gonna start adding my gateways as well. Also chronoing out probes, because I need probes for money. Of course those reapers here. Oh, they actually got around here, which is very annoying. I responded far too late. Didn't actually get that uh, probe, but he did get that one over here. So that was quite annoying for me, actually. But yeah, so far so good. Probably I can just uh, fast forward it a little bit. He did get one kill, which is annoying, but as you can see, I'm ahead in supply, which is normal because my opponent has mules and I have the ability to chrono out probes. You can see I'm taking out those rocks here and those reapers. No more kills. Here come the two reapers in again, but I actually got one more kill there. And I even had to waste full and overcharge on these two annoying reapers. So some very effective reapers actually, I have to say. They're very annoying stuff from them, but now I'm moving out with some stalkers and zealots. I start getting out some uh, some colossi here. Getting the extended thermal lands as well. Getting my third base. Now as you can see, he is moving out with marines and marauders out on the field. Medivacs as well, which could actually... Mm, I, I don't think he can kill me with this army supply. He does have an advantage, but I have two Colossi, and with two Colossi I can easily defend against this, especially as I'm gonna make a few more Colossi once I have the pylons finished, that is. But yes, he's gonna probably start Vikings, very good move. However, my plus two ground weapons and plus two ground armor are gonna finish soon, so... I'm really ahead on upgrades, which is really gonna carry me here in this fight. Like he, this fight, there is no way he can win that fight, really, due to my upgrades. Well, we have even upgrades, but I have better tech compared to him. I have Colossi out on the field, and he he's gonna get some Vikings soon, which means I'm gonna have to get more Stalkers or uh, knows what else. But yeah, I, I killed the, like a Marine there. <laughs> Yes, I'm making more zealots as well. I should have made them here though. But oh well. 
just gonna see we're both having issues spending our minerals but he has more of an issue actually because how many SCVs does he have 68 that's a good amount but he's making more he shouldn't be making more at this stage he should be getting a lot more depots to max out and he has so much money this is so strange he shouldn't be shouldn't have so many minerals I guess it's because he's not really making Marines at this point oh there we go he's now Finally, you're gonna make a few marines in terms of units. Yes, he has 44 marines and 9 marauders, so very strange. I think he could have been maxed by now if he actually used all his minerals, but he didn't. In fact, I'm behind in supply, but my supply is gonna go up here. Yeah, that was annoying. He took out that pile and I had the photon cannon, but here I come in with my units. Colossi doing damage, They're doing work. Now <laughs> look at them. Doing some fancy little moves here. Yeah, plus two, plus two is gonna finish soon, and charge is gonna finish. That's when I'm gonna have a really nice timing to attack with my units. But yeah, I'm still, I still don't have the amount of supply that I needed. I needed a lot more gateways, and they have all finished now, which I should be should be making more units at this point because I definitely have the gateways ready. Warp gates, rather, because they're called warp gates when. Uh, Gateways are when they basically rally out units. With warp gates, you summon them by pylons, so to speak. So yeah, in terms of supply, you can see his supply blocked. He just finished building some supply depots that actually really hurt him. But in terms of army supply right now, we're pretty even, but he has a lot of workers for some reason. He's still making more. It's a mistake by him there. As you can see here, though, I'm getting more and more stalkers, because... I need them to fight off against the Vikings and they can dish out some damage as well while the Zealots get kited. So, so very good first volley here by his Vikings. That was quite annoying. Here comes the engagement. As you can see here, I've got uh, plus two plus two compared to his plus one plus one and his uh, and his bio in here. I kited a little bit back with the Colossi and his army just got vaporized because he did not have enough. And my upgrade just completely dominated his upgrades. And I'm gonna be able to max out soon enough, but I need a fourth base. As you can see here, I'm probably gonna go out and try and deny his base, I think. Yeah, I'm going now to deny his base right now over here, which was a good move actually, because had I not done that, he would have been able to win some. Uh, I mean, he would have had such a great economy, because look, he's, he's already gaining like 3,000 minerals. Right? Minerals a minute. This is insane here. As you can see his Vikings moving across here, just is dead. But yeah, my zealots here, these zealots are so strong. Fury's gonna lose a few units here for some reason. And yeah, that depot is gonna burn down, but yeah, I'm almost maxed again, and I'm gonna be able to warp in more and more units. I like these photon cannons that I built here. Very good late game. Should have built more here so that uh, Basically, his drops would have done much less had I built a lot more of those Phonon Cannons. I should be warping in some uh, Templars soon enough. But yeah, his problem right now is that he isn't building Ghosts. If he was building Ghosts, so this would be completely different because... Ghosts do well against uh, Templars, Archons, and they can soften up the Zealots quite uh, well too, so... This is why he needs uh, Ghosts. But I'm gonna have Templars, which are gonna do very well here. Gotta make some Archons though. Just to add a little bit of beefiness to my forces. However, uh, you know, Archons would get destroyed by EMPs. And we might have an engagement here, but in terms of army supply, let's see how what type of units he's got. 56 Marines, 12 Marauders, so his, his army is gonna die really quickly to Colossi. Actually. And I've only got six, but if I make more, six is an okay number to have. But he's got a lot of Vikings. He may have overdone it. No, I think it's a good amount of Vikings, actually. For the amount of Colossi that I have. He should have made a lot more barracks, though. Let's see. He does have... What's the barracks? The structures, yeah. Eight racks. Not enough right now. He's making more, but here, as you can see... He's got great positioning with his Vikings, but not all his Vikings are firing, so my Colossi are, are still doing damage. 
can see they still got a lot of kills but here my army is just so much more upgraded that even stalkers uh, are doing well against the marauders so yeah that that went pretty well and here i'm just taking out the rest of his vikings one survives but yeah again i'm ahead in army supply but my income is not so good anymore however i'm gonna get the space here and i'm gonna be able to make many more units so he's not making enough units out of his racks. This is so weird. This one not, doesn't have anything. We're saying, oh, now he's making marines. <clears throat> Extra racks here. But as you can see, right now, I'm even getting shield upgrades. So, yeah. And in terms of photon cannons, let's see. I've, I've got quite a few here. So this defense here by this uh, third base is very, 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 very nice for me. As for here, same thing. We got some photon cannons over here. He can't really move through with bio because he'd go through choke points and get crushed. And photon cannons in terms of he's actually getting plus two plus two right now, but already got uh, my three three upgrades, and I'm like so many upgrades ahead of him. Basically, I'm like four upgrades ahead of him right now. And soon it's gonna be with shields too, and that's gonna be crazy. I actually also got blink. Not even just charge, because it's easy to use, but I did actually lose some units here, and I've got some zealots. Also going to add a few more photon cannons here, just for extra measure. I'm going to take out this these rocks here, too. And then I'm going to move out to the middle of the map, and we're going to have another engagement, I think. We'll see. I've got these four Templars here. They're going to do a mighty fine job, I think. Or at least I hope so. But I'm gonna move them over here, and here I come across with my army. Blink back with my stalkers, because I don't want them in the front. I want my zealots in the front to tank all my stalkers and everything else. Uh, deals out the damage. He's getting a fourth CC, probably wants to put it over there and lift it. But I think that this position is just, it's still very good for me. Four base Protoss versus four base there, and pretty good stuff, especially with all these. Uh, Defensive photon cannons I've built around because I have so many minerals uh, lying around I'm gonna try and go for these rocks, but I noticed that he is moving out an army with this observer that helped out a lot and Here I get some excellent storms on his bio army here and yeah That's basically gonna spell disaster for his units He just lost so much army supply here because of storms and he's losing all these medivacs too. I'm also Blinking forward, and he just lost so much here. Basically, an entire army that he lost here for for little to no gain, basically. And here I'm gonna take out his fourth CC, or rather his fifth. And yeah, he's probably gonna have to lift it and get it somewhere. But as you can see here, he's got very low army supply compared to me, and this is just not gonna work well for him here. He's gonna get some nice shots here on this uh, Colossi. He's probably actually gonna be able to kill it, but I've still got so much army supply that it doesn't really matter at this point. Zelot's doing work as well here, and yes, this is a good position by him. But he's even in the bunker, but it doesn't matter because Zelot's here are amazing with 3 3 1 upgrades, and he's only got 2 2. So that's game. Basically, my upgrades and my army composition is what carried me through this game anyway hope you guys and girls enjoyed if you want to see more don't forget to comment and subscribe follow me on facebook twitter and google plus share the video and i'll see you next time